from the Royal Marines then you went on to do uh, Marit private security, private security yeah. yeah what what made you want to get into that side of things and had you had enough of the Marines or would you just want a little change did you see like some more action going on in that type of thing yeah. what, what made you want to like might get out of that and get into that because that's fucking dangerous shit yeah yeah, yeah so yeah, what yeah. made you want to just switch paths so I uh, I tried to get into Afghan yeah uh, with Marines and it were like if you want to go to Afghan, you're going to have to go to four or five in Scotland. I didn't want to be in Scotland, mate. I wanted to like be down south. It was doing me head in being in Scotland. So Afghan never really happened. And then I, I still had like, I left and I had like just this first to like, I always wanted to be like, like, up, like in the action. Yeah. And, 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 and I loved the thought of being in contact and stuff. So I ended up, uh, I got a job, uh, really, really quickly and flew out to Somalia doing counter piracy. Where'd that uh, come from then? How did you pick up on so that? So what happened was, mate, I went for an interview for Abramovich team to be a, to be a, a, a bodyguard on his team. Uh, and in the interim, uh, a good, really good friend of mine, Johnny Riddle, he, he phoned me up and he went, mate, chin him off, he's a, he's a twat. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking true. Yeah, <laughs> he, just, he just went, chin him off, mate, he's a, he's a twat. He, he went, uh, you want to uh, phone Alanda Rogers up, who... Uh, who had just set up a company called Solis, uh, doing pr maritime security, because pri uh, piracy were going through the roof, yeah. mate. It were mental. That, that were mainly Somali. That was, Somalia, yeah, yeah. yeah, like Somali Basin and, and uh, Gulf of Aden and just in between Eritrea, it were like a hotbed of yeah. like of, of hijackings and stuff. So I phoned him up and uh, this one month. So on the, on the Sunday, I, I were in Asda, like literally putting my food back because I couldn't afford like 30 quid for shopping. Monday, I had a, a phone call with Orlando Rogers about getting out to Somali, doing private uh, private maritime security. Wednesday, I went down for an interview. On Friday, I flew out. Fucking hell. Yeah, like it's, like within five days. And uh, started started doing like like high-risk transits and stuff like that. Like where were they? Did you fly ships. out? Did you fly straight to... So I flew to... Uh, where did I... I'm, I'm sure, I, I think I flew to Salala. In, in Amman. Yeah. And then I went from Salala down to Durban. Where's Durban? In South Africa. Right, okay. Uh, and then, I, I think, I'm, from recollection, mate, I think it took about seven days. And in that seven days, I earned like, I don't know, five grand, yeah. four or five grand in a week. And I was like, fucking hell. And I was like, right, I'm staying out. And yeah, I, sta yeah. I stayed out for like six months. Mm. Just just like take a ship, ship, like just bouncing about uh, Indian Ocean with, with, with various different ships, like protecting them against pirates. Right. Schooly told me that you've got a, a fucking ace pirate story as well. He said, I've yeah. got to ask you about it. He, <laughs> yeah. he, he already knows it because I think he listened to it on a previous podcast yeah. you did. But I hadn't heard it yet. So he said, I'm not going to tell you what it is because you need to hear it from him himself. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, so... Uh, I started getting an awareness, mate, that, that as of all of us, not just me, but all of the lads that were like out there like hammering it, uh, it, it was only a matter of time before before we got like bumped yeah, by yeah. pirates and uh, got on this ship in Malta uh, that were carrying iron ore, Vulgi Bulka, and we took it, I took it down Suez Canal, met the rest of the lads, uh, another three lads, so there were four of us. We started going down Red Sea south towards uh, Eritrea, Somalia, like hotbed of like, just naughtiness really. Yeah. And uh, yeah, on way down, mate, I mean, the, 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 the vessel were like full of iron ore. So it were like really low. If you imagine like this table down to the floor, uh, that's how low it were out at water. So you could literally come alongside and step onto it. Right. And that were like prime, prime target yeah, for pirates. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And. Uh, on top of that, it only went like nine knots, like like I don't know, nine mile an hour. Fucking hell! It was fucking, <laughs> you, you won't you won't go nowhere. Worst getaway, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, and I was team leader on it, mate. And I were like, be honest with you, mate. I were like fucking. I felt a bit uncomfortable. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Are you yeah, shit? yeah. And I'm thinking like, fuck me. Like this is <laughs> like, this is just my worst nightmare. This and uh, one of the lads were like, uh, you were an SBS coxswain, uh, really really good lad, and he were like. God, I hope we get attacked. Yeah. <laughs> it, was like, it was like going, please, please attack us, please. And I'm like thinking like, oh, please shut up because I'm fucking like, yeah. I'm, I'm stressing it. <laughs> and uh, we always had to have like weapons in, 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 weapon, in weapons boxes, like locked up with a, with a, with a, with a code on it. Yeah. Uh, but because I was like, I like had this sixth sense, mate, I thought we we're going to get bumped here. Yeah. And I just told them to like load AKs and just put them on bridge wing. 
uh, sorry, in, in, in like Bridge, which were like, would have got sacked for that. Yeah. But it would just it just felt right and it made me feel comfortable. And then like one night, but well, that really would have been such a bad thing for getting it out there. If you would have got sacked for it from putting the weapons out. It, it, I mean, in hindsight, mate, it was it was the absolute right thing to yeah, do. Yeah, it do sounds like, like a right thing to do. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, mate. And uh, yeah, and uh, like one night, I was just down having some having some uh, some dinner on my own, and then one of the lads radioed, and he just were like, "Mate, you need to get up here quick. Uh, we've got like." Uh, skiffs coming in at high speed and like straight away it was like buff adrenaline dump you there know when you've got is, it you're yeah. just like <gasps> this is not a drill I yeah, repeat it's yeah, not yeah. a drill and I'm like trying to run up uh, like all these flights of stairs to get from to get up to top at bridge and uh, mate when I got up there I just knew it, it, it were it were all wrong do you yeah. know what I mean and like I'm trying to like I'm like you know like when you're in these days of like <sighs> is this really yeah. happening is this like is this real uh the lads put my body armor on me. I looked through binoculars, and they were like just pirates coming in on port side, just like because I'd done like boardings and non-compliant boardings on FSRT. I knew what the what what they were doing or yeah. all that. I knew that there's like one had circle, that other one came in behind and boarded to like kind of distract you. But there were both there were two coming in uh, from port side cutting us off. Uh, and when I looked through binoculars, they had guns and rockets in there. Fucking hell! Yeah, I was like fucking hell. This is real. Uh, and I've always, I've always like said this, like they were, they were like they were a young lad about, must have been about fourteen, fifteen that were, that were, he were like on his side, like that with his legs up, and he, like he were on a like a like a, a sun lounger on holiday, just like chilling out, and I'm like, this is mental, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they got like within, you had to get within like three hundred meters before you could fire warning shots, and they weren't stopping, and lads were like. Can we fight? Oh, it says, yeah, warning shots. So we'd fire like warning shots with AKs uh, and massive splash and sound were unbelievable, mate. And by this point, like, I was just so finely tuned to my environment. It was, it was unbelievable. I could like feel and sense everything. Yeah. But I'm scared. Do you know what I mean? I was like thinking, this is. This how many is, How many of your team have you got got the or in charge of here? How many of these are? There were four, we had a four man team, four, mate. Eight, only four of you? Four of us, yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, there were four of us, mate. And But then, because of the nature of, I suppose, my role, I w ended up like being, in a sense, in charge at ship, yeah. telling Captain what to do and sending all his crew down to, to Citadel, which is like a, a makeshift safe house that you make in engine room. Uh, yeah, and they came in and we like we we stopped that first thing. They stopped dead as soon as they saw warning shots. They like literally stopped dead. But then we were like starboard side. They were steaming in from starboard side as well, and they were like they were just like they, were, they just kept coming. They ended up being like ten or twelve skiffs full of pirates that came, <laughs> and they were all like trying it on, and we were like we were, we were like trying to fight them off, and it were like it were only, it were one of I think one of if not the. Uh, points in my life where I thought I'm going to get killed here yeah, I'm gonna die. and I didn't want to die yeah, yeah. and like having that like conflict where I'm thinking like fuck I'm going to die uh, and I didn't want to yeah. I, I had this like initial like bit of a mental block where I just thought we need to surrender yeah. to like preserve any kind of life that we've got here uh, although that they would have gotten and killed us yeah. 100% first uh, but then after it was like that fight or flight, mate. You know, I, I don't know if you have it. We we fighting it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, level, yeah. Mate, but some punches in the face. It's either fight them back or you give up in it. I'm yeah, guessing when someone's yeah. got fucking guns at you. Yeah, give up or. But you just like, what do I do? But then I had like a couple of deep breaths, and it were like, I knew what to do. Yeah. And uh, how did it pan out then? So we 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 ended up being like like Ben starboard side, John port side, like blah blah blah, and it was like. Where are they? And we, we, we were in a contact with them for like 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Uh, and and, and we, we got out of it, mm. to, to put it, to put it uh, a long story short. And uh, it would, it, although you couldn't really see it, I had like this sense that we were winning the arm wrestle. Yeah. Probably in a fight, but you're having a fight, mate. You know, that where you, you're not sure that you are winning. Yeah, but, you, but, but you, you can see just them slight little yeah, things you, where you break yeah. them down, just little bit by like little bit. Little things that you can't really put your finger on, whether it's just like, a, I suppose for you, mate, like a bit of facial expression or body language, yeah. and you're just like, I'm fucking, I'm, we're winning. I'm yeah. starting to, we're starting to turn this now. Uh, and that's how I felt. And, and as soon as I thought like, we, we're winning, 
and I knew I were gonna, we were gonna live through it. I was like, like, this is amazing. What like, did they do? Did they just fucking get on the do one? No, I mean we we. We, we killed some of them. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely, absolutely, mate. Yeah, they were they, they were like, uh, they, I mean, they started firing back at one point and uh, and 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 doing, tr trying to get on from all different angles, mate, and 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 really trying it on. And I couldn't believe that they weren't deterred by people dying. But yeah, yeah by yeah. the fact that I mean, if you're coming to board a vessel, uh, and 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 you're taking incoming, uh, you you were bought straight away. Yeah, and and it's and it's it's like. It's completely uh, intimidating. It's it's disgusting. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And and they were just like pumping Not straight bothered. through it. Fucking hell! We're like what the fuck? Watching the mates just dying up. Don't matter. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. And at end mate, like uh, there were like one boat that were like just kind of bobbing in water, uh, and a guy just popped his head up and turned the engine on and like kind of fucked off. Yeah. And uh, at, from what lads said, there were nobody else. Uh, yeah. Fucking hell! Alive in that. Wow. But, but that, it, yeah, it would, it would just mental. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Yeah. Uh, you, you got awards for like your shooting skills and stuff, or yes, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. I uh, so like in training, I, uh, I came top on, on on the shoot throughout the, the entire troop on the assessment. Oh, did you in the entire one? Yeah, yeah, and uh, I fucked with the wrong guy there, then didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and yeah, and I, and I uh, providing I went through as an original, I I, I got a shooting medal. Yeah, oh, in, in training and uh, and shine at trophy. Yeah, so they so definitely they definitely fucked with the wrong guy <laughs> then when they were coming in. Um, <laughs> what were after the aftermath of that? I'll, I'll, I can only imagine like the adrenaline rush I get when I have a fight. What the fuck was just obviously it must have took Mate. days, weeks, months for you. I did yeah. still be checking now off that with me. What were it like on the come down after that? What were going through your head? Like were it like thank fuck I'm lucky, thank fuck I'm good at what I do, mm. thank fuck I'm alive. What were going yeah. on? just felt like completely amazing i mean yeah. i will literally like that, they, they, that's what you signed up for wasn't it? that's what yeah, that's yeah, what you yeah. wanted like you're all yeah it was it was absolutely fucking amazing yeah. mate. Yeah. <laughs> that's what i wanted <laughs> to hear yeah, yeah. that's what i wanted to yeah hear. yeah i mean it, it, although the initial it were a bit of a, a, a shaky kind of shaky experience and like i had to like really kind of manage myself and make sure that i were like being the the leader that i needed to be yeah uh it was a fucking brilliant experience, yeah. mate. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And after I like I was just completely like wet through, like my t shirt were just covered in water and like round my knees. Uh captain and crew were over. I was gonna say what, what what were the captain like were you before, during, after? What did he like keep his cool with like or were he just like so Captain were from Burma, mate, and he were a, a really, really top bloke and sometimes can, well, a lot of times they can be really tough captains yeah. because it's their baby. The yeah, ship. of course, yeah. And they don't like people coming on and saying like you need to put razor wire here and you need to look at this and you're not doing enough to prevent to counter piracy. But it was superb, mate. And like when I said, listen, uh, you need to get all your crew into Citadel. You were like, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, and then he, uh, after it, mate, he, he, were, he were like, just so grateful and thankful. He thought we were all like complete heroes. And, and that wow, night- Wow, you were heroes. Yeah, you saved we, we, the day. we saved the day, yeah. mate. And it, 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 it was like, everybody were like, patting us and shaking his hand and like so grateful and thankful it, it was fucking superb mate and yeah. then a couple of days after he he, he laid a party on should have fucking think so as well yeah for all the lads <laughs> like red this carpet big, this big buffy and this, <laughs> <laughs> this big buffy and he like he got the booze out which were like we couldn't drink being being armed security yeah. on board but i was like let's just tip lads i said fuck it i said just get on it with the crew and enjoy it and uh the lads like called the naked bar. Yeah. Had, the, had, had the captain walking around the ship naked, <laughs> <laughs> steering ship around, no clothes on. Mate, honestly, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it were absolutely like absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But then some, uh, there were a Somali, like, I think a Somali newspaper that came out that that had, had, had said that we'd, I don't know, that we'd murdered a load of people, innocent people and yeah. stuff, and. Uh, They'd put like bounty, bounties on his heads. Oh, really? Yeah. Fucking stuff, hell. Yeah, in Somalia, yeah. And uh, I was a bit disappointed by the company because the shipping company, uh, we won the contract. It, we were on the first uh, ship of of, the, of this contract and uh, we won the, the company, like a three million pound contract. Mm. And the shipping company owners said after the attack that the, we could stay on in like a, in an un, in a, in a low risk environment, which you normally get off at off at uh, to save everybody money but they said you can stay on while we fuel up in in the gulf uh which would have got us 
a load of money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know, 10, 20, 30K. Yeah. But the company got us off, mate, uh, and never let us have the opportunity to earn that money. <sighs> and and I was just like, yeah, it's fucking fuck shit. Yeah, it's below the belt, that's yeah. fucking, yeah, it's shite. But, uh, uh, but a funny one, mate, is I, want, I, got, to, I got back to the UK after it, then uh, I went on a shooting course down, down near Pool, and this guy said, uh, the guy that were running it went, you all need to be really on point with your shooting. He says, you've only got to look at that attack that happened a couple of weeks ago where Laz got captured, uh, attacked by four skiffs. And I went, yeah, I went well, to... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I had a bit you don't have to tell me. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> I had a bit of a moment where I was like, yeah, I went tail on. Yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he just looked at me and he went, yeah, cheers, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, you must have felt smug as uh, fuck but then. Yeah, but he just completely discounted it. He yeah. was like, yeah, fucking mind your neck in. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. a knob. 